Right, so from a point A, a boat sails due north for seven kilometers to B. So, here's the point A, always draw a diagram. That is due north to point B, and that's seven kilometers. Now, you must remember bearings is from due north, and a boat leaves B and moves on a bearing of 100 degrees for 10 kilometers until it meets C. So, this angle here is going to be 100 degrees because that is the bearing and that's going to be 10 kilometers and this is going to be C. Now you're going to calculate the distance of C from A. So you have to use the cosine rule which is B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC because B, you want the length opposite angle B. Now you know angles in a straight line equal 180, so this must be 80 degrees. So we have the value of B equals 80. And this is little b now. So B squared is going to equal sorry, 10 squared, because little a will be here. So they've labeled this nicely. So you don't need to change your letters. If they give you different letters, just change it to A, B, C, so you can use the formula without making a mistake. Plus seven squared, because little c is opposite angle c here. Minus two times 10 times seven, because 80. Now, they might say A, C squared, because length B is the length A to C, but so it doesn't matter because AC squared equals B squared in this instance, which will equal 124.689. All you need to do is square root that to get the length of AC uh, or little b, and that will equal 11.2 kilometers to three significant figures. So you can see a helicopter flies in the bearing of 80 degrees, that's A, and it travels to B and we can label that 50 kilometers. Now C is 80 kilometers from A and calculate a bearing of C from A. Now you could say that C could be here and that could be 80 kilometers and we call that C1. But in theory C could be any way up here somewhere and we can call that C2 because that's possible and that could be 80 kilometers from A. Now, it's let's say B to C is 60, and that's 60. That's going to be the two possible scenarios. Because the bearing of C from B is not given, that's why there's two possibilities for where C could be. But the angle should be the same for both lengths, for both sections of C, because of, um, well, if you have a triangle that is side, 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 and you have all three sides, the angles will be the same. So if you just start with what we had before, you want to calculate the bearing of C from A. I'm gonna start with this one here. You're gonna work out this bearing here. We're technically finding this angle here and using the cosine rule. So in this instance, we are going to have A squared equals B squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a because if this is the only formula you remember you can rearrange this correct to cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc so that's just bringing this over to the left hand side and the a squared to the right hand side and dividing that by 2bc so this is just substitution now you've got all your figures so cos a in this case this is little b this is little a little c b squared is 80 squared plus 50 squared minus 60 squared all over 2 times 80 times 50 and you'll know that equals 0 0.6625. Now you just inverse cos that to get A equals 48.5 degrees. So 
if this is 48.5 this A could be 48.5 so A could be 80 plus or minus 48.5 because this bit would be the 80 the bearing of A to B minus the 48.5 that we have found so you'll get two possible answers for A which is 128.5 or 031.5 because bearings we must write in three digits and that is complete now in this question you've got a triangle ABC with AB 9.3 centimeters and BC 6.2 so let's just draw the longer side first and that's going to be 12.7 that's AC now AB is 9.3 and BC is 6.2 6.2 that must be B now if this is the longer side here this is the biggest stretch of a triangle that must mean this angle is going to be the largest angle so just using cos b that could be little b little c little a always label the points equals a squared plus c squared minus b squared all over 2ac just substitute the values in so cos b equals 6.2 squared plus 9.3 squared minus 12.7 squared all over 2 times 6.2 times 9.3 which if you plug into calculate will equal minus 0.3152 now inverse cos that answer and then b will equal 108.37 and in A level they normally ask you to round numbers to three significant figures so do do that if it asks you in an exam question because that's worth a mark in itself the answer mark it's called and that is quite easily done